Shenara, Shenara, hello everybody. Thank you for joining me on this chilly, chilly day. I'm sure it's chilly. It's Sweden. It's this time of the year. Um, choosing me is the greatest thing I can say thank you to. You are wonderful people. So um, thank you for listening to this podcast. Um, I'm going to start with some pretty heavy stuff here, right? Because according to the Swedish Public Health Department, every fourth person... Imagine the Beatles. Every fourth person in Sweden suffers from a feeling of isolation. I want to hold your hand. Sorry. But an article published by The Local, which you can find online, The Local mentions seven ways to battle this isolation, such as get a dog. (laughs) That's serious. Get a dog. That will help your isolation. Just talk dog. Just talk dog. Go to a sauna. Yeah, that's going to help. Seeing sweaty bodies. Apparently, they like to talk more, the Swedes. And also, get people drinking alcohol. We don't have all seven of them, but my favorite of them was get fika, do fika, have fika, be fika. And um, this week, I was joined on my wonderful dream guest podcast to have a fika with Kayo. Now, she is... um, She's the disco queen of Svaria, probably the world. Her inspirations, her stories, her knowledge. She um, she wanted to have a fika with me. Can you believe it? And we were going to go to Central Park. I said, should we go around on a horse? She goes, no, I'll have a picnic basket and we can have eggs if we are dating. It got confusing, but put it this way, we shared a lot of yolks. That's a joke. It's a joke about eggs. It was a brilliant, brilliant chat. She has a beautiful heart. She's a beautiful person. And uh, she gave me great advice, like follow your dreams. She's turning 60 next April. And she will tell you what you should do to follow those dreams. It's going to be an amazing podcast. So please welcome to my dream guest, my favorite guest of the week. It's Kayo. Welcome to another episode of Dream Guest, Kayo Shikoni. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, there was like a stunned look there of like, no, he, he's done okay. He's done okay with that. Yeah. I, I get, um, I'm our pitcher and now recently I'm AI pitcher. Yes, so, you are. So that's been a yes. Um, I think when we asked you, um, we requested you, we demanded that you must be here you were a bit confused. You thought it was AI or? Definitely. It was like in the morning, my first text when I woke up and I got the text, like, would you like? And I was like, yeah, yeah artificial intelligence picture. Why? What? Uh, no. What I... technology is doing this? Yeah. Is this real? Um, I'm really happy to meet you. Um, I was just wondering if you could tell me about you. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, you don't have to, whatever you want to tell me. Okay, let me see. I am, I'd like to come in Swedish, uh, I would say disco tant. So I would be like this disco lady, preferably sometime queen. Yes, no, I I'll don't mind that. that. No, no, I don't mind that. Uh, I'm a musician, an actress, and an. Uh, entertainer i would say i've been doing it for about 40 years i love you know standing on a stage doing all kinds of mischief i guess do you still get the the thrill i do yeah yeah and i think when i lose it it's time to retire do you know what that that's probably the same for me as well i i was asking myself like you do (laughs) ask yourself you know those questions when you're in a dressing room and you're looking in the mirror and you're wondering do i enjoy this and i do so that's really nice to hear yeah. that you that you love it. I saw, I know you're doing the intro for yourself here, but I saw that you were a, a ballet, you did ballet as well. Yeah. I mean, is there anything you haven't done stage-wise? <laughs> there must be something you haven't done, maybe. I haven't done stand-up. Okay, well, well, that's going to be something. That would be <laughs> the, a challenge. The podcast is now finished, and we're going to bring on your first comedian... <laughs> Kayo, I know this. I know this is what AI is all about. I watched some ballet on Saturday, actually, and all I could think about was 
those toes. Oh, yeah. They still hurt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, that's painful. But, I mean, I think that builds you up as a cat. And, as you know, your character gets really strong from that kind of pain. But yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a good good bad pain in a sense because you you do get over it and you focus on other things Mm-mm. eventually, I guess. But coming back to the stand up, that is something that I have such respect for because to me, uh, uh, when it's not funny, ooh, yes, yes, it's fire, you know. Yeah, but yeah. when you're singing or you're acting, it's it's a little more forgiving, I yeah. imagine. I I think when you're doing st- it's just the immediate response. So if something's not funny, it's silence. But I th- I'm guessing when you sing, you could just you can have a false note here and there. Yeah, yeah, and also you can probably just look at the fire exit and yeah. go, well, if you're not into this, I am, and I'm going to give it everything. Exactly. You know? yeah. yeah. But do you get that sometimes? You look out the audience, and there's a you know thousands there. And then there's just there's just one person. It's always that one. <laughs> yeah. Ah, and you just see that person. You're like, oh, man. Yeah. You know? It happens quite often. And then you also have, especially men, I have to say, that kind of falls asleep. Oh, wow. That okay. old trick. You know, they've been maybe drinking a lot and yeah. maybe traveling to come see us or me. And when they finally sit down and yeah. the heat kind of gets to them <laughs> and they're like... <laughs> They're doing that thing where they fold their arms and they're pinching themselves just to stay awake, you know? <laughs> oh, no, I, 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 I have actually had someone fall asleep during it, but you, you'd think they'd still be, the focus and the noise would still happen, but yeah. It's, I mean, why? Yes, yeah, yeah. Is it me or is it them? It's them. I was just about to break into song there. Is it me you're looking for? Oh. But I, um, I shouldn't be doing that to a proper singer. You've you've done singing. You went to uh, Eurovision. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. What, um, were, what were the nerves like for that? Ooh, <laughs> the thing was that we, you know the phenomena we have here in Sweden called mellow. Yeah, yeah. So you have to go through that little kind of fire first, and we won that. Yeah. So we had to represent Sweden in Eurovision, and but we never thought that we would you know win in any kind of way. Really. Yeah, because, I mean, we were three black ladies that had never happened in the very, very Swedish mellow. And also we had a disco song, which is was had never happened before. So we're like, okay, we'll do it so we can get a few more gigs going. Mm. And then when we, we win, and then when we finally go to Eurovision, we're like, we've already won. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that was kind of a cool thing, but also having the pressure of representing Sweden, like, you better do good, you girls. That that was nerve wracking. The law of like kind of yante in this, you know, in this country. In, in New Zealand, we have like a tall poppy syndrome. Like it's the same thing, really. Don't think too much of yourself. I would think with Eurovision and Mallow, like you'd you'd know that you had the song. Wouldn't did you did you think this that we might win this secretly or no 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 wow. really that we, is so cool yeah. No, we were like super underdogs, I would say. So finally, you know, <laughs> I think that's kind of cute when we sit in, in Globem where mm. we had this big Swedish final and we were like, nah, it's not going to happen. Mm. And when they finally call our name, mm. I did this thing that I never, because I'm a cool girl. I'm like yeah. a tomboy. Yeah, when, yeah. when you do this, like, <gasps> like the Miss Universe kind of, oh my God, it just happened. My body reacted in such weird way. I'm like, what am I doing? Yeah, because yeah. it came so from, you know, well, it, totally. On. Well, that's pure though, isn't it? That's a pure it reaction. Is. That is, um, <laughs> I've sung one song on stage. Um, I'm a big fan of you 2 um, And I Good sang band. with or without you for, um, like no shipping dam curtain. Okay. Right. They were doing U2 songs and they wanted me to do it. And I got up there and I was so um worried that I would be so shit, <laughs> right? That I didn't I actually did like a Bob Dylan version of like see the stones, sit in your eyes. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, rather you than it through. Rather, yeah. I was almost like, I'm not gonna go fully into this. I'm going to hold back so at the end I can go, I didn't try anyway, you know. So 
Mm-hmm. But what a feeling that must have been to be surprised and to see it all happen. And you're with your friends, I'm guessing, yeah. the band members. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, my sisters, my girls. Yeah. But also, I, I don't know if you can relate to that, but when we actually did the number before they started voting, when you also, before, were like holding our hands and like, okay, let's do this now. And coming back after, we felt in our bodies together like, poof, we yeah, got it. Yeah, That's yeah. satan in Swedish. Yeah. And when you get that feeling and then you get paid off like that, yeah. that's the most amazing because you know, I think you can relate to like, Oh, that show did. Yes, uh, that was kind of shy. Exactly. Yeah. But when it really like, oh, I hit it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's it's sort of what I'm with what we do as well. I think sometimes you can come off going, how was all, was that all right? You know, I, I'm very much one of those putting my hand out like, was that okay? You yeah. know? Um, but like some days, you know, and that feeling is fantastic. It is. You know, I think. It's a hard place to find friends, right? And I don't know if you know, but being on this podcast, we're friends forever, for yes. life, sister. Yes. yes. Um, you know, um, and you think that's a joke. I'll be outside your house later on. So, okay. um, but I, um, what I I like to sort of imagine is where would your dream Fika be? Where would you like to sit down? If I, if I could take you anywhere right now. In Stockholm or Sweden or anywhere in the you world? Want. Oh, okay. I would say Central Park in New York. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Summertime. Because you lived there for a while. I did, and yeah. I, I'm very much in love with that city. Um, and Central Park, just the fact, it's kind of, for me, it's like so spacey. You have this green hub long in the middle of that buzzy yeah. city. Uh, uh, so we would have a picnic in Central Park yep. on a summer's day, maybe May, June. Yeah. Uh, we would have Svenska Bullar. Okay. Kademumma, because you yep. can get a lot of fika in New York nowadays. I can sort that out. I, would, I wouldn't mind a bagel, though. Okay. That would work, too. What kind of coffee are we... For me, a skinny latte. Skinny latte. <laughs> yeah. Look at that, eh? Oh, Straight away. Wow, look at that. Um, so we're not going on the horse and cart. We're not going around. We're having a picnic. Yeah. Not the horse and cart. What's it called? The horse yeah, and the, the, the carriage. carriage. Not a cart, nah. is it? It's not a no, cart. No, that would be overdoing it for me. Yeah. I, I, I'm super fine with the subway or a, a yellow cab. Yeah. Go straight in. I recently did some gigs in New York. Yeah, and know. I think it's changed. I don't, when oh, yeah. was the last time you were there? Uh, I was there um, five years ago, and then I went for a month, uh, January this year, okay. and I was in shock. It smells a lot of weed you as well. No, I was <laughs> Isn't like, it? Yeah. oh my goodness. There's the shock face again. Yeah. Like, we've, like, just, we've just won. Oh, God. Um, yeah. No, I, I, it was shocking. Yeah. It was a little scary. For me, it was, remember that old movie, um, The Escape from New York? Yes, yes. That yeah. was kind of a little bit of the vibe I was getting. Yeah. Like putting people to sleep. Yeah, because it's now legalized, the, the shops where, but there was just the smell of weed. I also, I feel for me in America, there's always that dream, like stand up wise, you could go and do like, six or seven gigs a night it, it's it's really it's the hard. hub yeah it's the hub of comedy it's great but i think if you fall through the system there in new york you're you're, you're gone yeah. like yeah you know in sweden there is that health you know it does feel like you get a couple of chances please we'll help you yeah. but i really found it tough and what were you doing there in january for the month i have uh, what i call my soul daughter yeah uh, and she due to the pandemic i guess yeah. but she pursued a dream to to become like a music manager uh, and she wants to work for justin bieber she's 32 years old and she's the smartest lady i know so she um decided i'm going wow but also she's half american so she has a passport and, and all of that good yeah. stuff so i kind of delivered her for the first month 
Yeah. And through my old connections that I had, like, see if I could get her a job or an internship yeah. or something. That's a TV show waiting to happen. Bieber's, Bieber's manager. Yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, just yeah. follow the journey. I mean, th- that's what I mean. I love people that, that at least tries. She did her CV and she, like, corrected and, like, and she sent it to, to his manager. And she got an answer, like, okay, yeah. we got it. But right now we don't have an opening. But, you know, please let us know. And just to do that is not very Swedish. Absolutely. Yeah, right? absolutely. And that's that half American part you know, coming through. Yeah, I think so. There's the other part still here going, nah, uh, nah, nah don't nah. do it. No, it's not really going to happen. Did you ha- do you have that kind of dream, you know, uh, is, it, is it gone from you? Are you still dreaming no. of something that... Yeah, and I keep thinking about it, actually, Al, because I do believe in magic. I do believe that if you wish for something and if you're keeping yourself open to possibilities, that's how I ended up in in New York. Yeah. Somebody asked me, would you like to go to New York to, you know, join a group? I'm like, nej, my Swedish, like, nej, jag tror inte det, nej, jag vågar inte det. And what happened was, fast forward, the, the, my Swedish connection, uh, I told him, no, you can, I'm turning them down. But he said, yeah, she'll go. Yeah. So correct. a week later, I get a phone call like, so we have it ordered. You're going to Germany to audition for the song. And a week later, I was in New York and I was gone for two years. Wow. So things can happen. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a latte person, but this is very nice. I always find this is going to sound really stupid, but I found lattes a bit milky. They are. <laughs> which, which is kind of like saying, hey, this milkshake's a bit milky. Yeah. You know, so. It's a hot milkshake. And that cow looks milky. Oh. Yeah. So um, we, we're in Central Park and we've got the, we've got the coffee. Uh, what would you like with your figure? I love cardamom abule. Yeah. Uh, the the bun, cardamom bun. Yeah. Uh, but if I wouldn't be able to get it in Central Park or somewhere, I would get a bagel. Okay. Yeah, a, a bagel. lox and, and cream cheese bagel. Okay. Yeah, classic. Uh, and if if we were dating, yeah, I would probably have like uh, what do they call? Um, uh, when you have the poached egg and and the hollandaise sauce, uh, Benedict. Benedict. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Yeah. Only if we were dating, though. Yeah. Be a, be a, yeah so at just, the moment, it's a no egg rule. No, no, because the hassle of getting it there and keeping oh, it yes. warm. So if you would bring it, then okay, okay. then I'll, any I'll, time. I'll, I'll bring the eggs. But that means I'm dating. But we're, no, okay, I'll tell my I wife. I'll tell my if, wife. It's if fine. you bring it, if you for, bring it, it doesn't have to be a date. So I, it's okay. I'm method. I'm method. Okay. Um, we're dating. Um, that's why I'm outside your house. Remember. <laughs> um, so a little birdie uh, came over to me and said that you are doing what I'm doing at the moment. You're trying to hit the no sugar, no nothing. You're mm-hmm. hitting the boring life. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So here we go. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a um that's the healthy option. Yay. But the, it yeah, it looks very healthy and I know that they're very good. One of them's yours. <gasps> I, I like the way I say one of them. Like don't take mine. Um but they're um it's a raw cranberry. Raw cranberry Ooh. bar. Yes. Thank you so much. So okay. that is um, let's go. Yeah, let's try it. I mean, mm. yeah, I mean that is great. Mm. That mm. is fantastic. Approved? Absolutely mm. approved. Yeah, and there's no sugar. Maybe some dates instead of sugar. Yeah, I would say. Mm. There you go, talking mm. about dates again. <laughs> but um, <laughs> so the no sugar is this a recent thing or? Yeah, um, since April. Yeah, I'm like enough now. COVID. COVID kilos were like yeah. hitting the, the roof. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. I lost 17 kilos. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Got rid of the sugar. Yeah. And um, got rid of like unhealthy stuff pretty much. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm very recent. Like a month ago, I okay. just, I just, yeah, it got to that point where yeah. I was like, 
I can't keep eating it. Mm. And it, it, do you know what? It made me feel crap as well. You know. And it was like I was bad stomach problems. And I was like, why am I doing this? Mm-hmm. You know, like. Yep. And do you feel, you feel happier? Yes, I do. I feel happier. I feel lighter. Uh, I feel more energized. And uh, I have no problem talking about my age, but I'm hitting 60 in about five months. And I said to myself, okay, now is the time. Because yeah. if you don't make the change now, yeah. I won't have the energy and the strength to grow old. Yeah, yeah. You know? Well, that's because, cool. And also, I think, I maybe you can really, I think you can, working nights. Yeah. Having dinner at midnight. <laughs> and then it's all the sugar and the pasta and the rice and the, you know, it's not that healthy. Yeah. So, and then it just lays on you in a bad way. Absolutely. It um, often lays on me in a hotel room where I'm, I find bits of like, yep. Like chips Ooh. or something, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, I went vegan for a while. Okay. Um, but that was... Boring. That, yeah, unless you're like really good. Yeah, because it, it's a job. Yes, you know. Yeah. But then I started eating eggs, you know, our um, our love thing. Since... Um, Mate, it got checking. us together. If we yeah. ever get rings, we'll have a little yolk on there. Yeah. Like a little egg yolk. <laughs> That'd be cute. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that that was good. And then I started eggs and cheese. I was like, I'm not, but I'm vegetarian now. Um, but I like to hear that because fika is such a, it's such a massive part of this oh, yeah. country. It's yeah. um, it, it's such a, you know, romantic fika. Have you had a romantic fika? Yeah. Ever? Yeah. 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 A couple. Yeah. But this is the best fun. Oh, us. thank you yeah. so much. For sure. Thank yeah. you. If we just, we, yeah, we don't even have to put in music there. Just, oh. <laughs> And what about dramatic fikas? Ever had one where you you're sitting there going, I, I don't like this. This is gonna f- oh god, this is gonna explode. Yeah, I had one date, mm. a fika date. I tried the whole internet dating thing for a while, short while. So this guy would meet, and, and you know when it kind of turned up, and it's this thing was the new. It was new, so it was very effective. Mm-hmm. And I'm, you know, dinner and that, mm-hmm. you know that thing. So he just sits down and he's like, "So what do you like?" Uh, 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 but yeah, what do you mean? Well, I like fishing. I don't want any kids, and I've got my, I faked a press uh, ID. Since you're famous, so I'm trying to check out if there is any, like, if you have any stalkers with you. Oh I'm my like, God. okay, that's a wow. different kind of fika day. Yeah, I yeah. would say I'm like, no, I, th- I think I'm fine. So uh, I'll just have a, a small espresso. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, right, really yeah, small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was kind of weird. Well, yeah. <laughs> But, I mean, no fires that I know of, <laughs> except for that one, though. And I'm sensitive. Yeah. Well, you are. Yeah. I mean, you've only eaten a little bit of you that. You know, I'll have another piece. Yeah, go on, go on. Yeah. It, but it is one of those that, mm-hmm. it, you know. You can't really talk when yeah. you're... Mm-hmm. If you were to have, like, a... Kind of a dream fika. Is there any anybody you'd like to fika with if you ever could? Well, living dead. I had the the honor and pleasure to do a play about Martin Luther King. Yeah, called Mountaintop about the the night before he was assassinated, and uh, it's taken from real facts. And the maid that served him or brought him coffee that night, uh, I would love to have a coffee with her. And I would definitely love to have a coffee with Martin Luther King. Yeah. And who's the most famous person you've worked with? You can name drop. Oh, wow. Oh, hmm. I mean, is there someone that like, when you get talking, you always go, I've got that in the back. I can, I can just, I can top yeah. trump them here, you know? Oh, wow. I've had the privilege of working with a lot of like stars when it comes to music, of course. But in the era that I was, uh, people that I like. I think 90s dance era, like yeah. CeCe Peniston and Crystal Waters and Robin S and all of these girls. I'm like, oh, you're so cool. I, I still think they're very, very yeah, cool. Yeah. I've hung out a couple of times with Mick Jagger. Wow. Cool. Yeah. We had ice cream. That's what he loves. 
I had a lot of wine. Oh, he likes just, ice cream. Yeah, because he stopped drinking. Jagger. Mm. That is, that's a podcast exclusive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, that kind see. of. So you want to marry me now? Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> but you, do you walk down the street? People know you though, don't they? But I mean, Sweden, Stockholm especially, they'll leave you alone, won't oh, they? Yeah. Yeah. No, but what, this is a very Swedish thing, I would say. They will leave you alone, but give them one drink. They would talk to you, talk about you when standing next to you, but you're not there. Like, oh, titta, that's where en Yeah, yeah. When they're next to you, all like, hon ska, what is she eating? And just talking about the person. Yeah. Like, they're not there, they're but not they're there. there. <laughs> that's very Swedish. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what that is. And it drives me nuts sometimes because yeah. I'm like, I'm right here. Yeah, yeah. Just talk to me. What yeah. is it that you need? Okay, so you think my ass looks big? That yeah. comes up a lot. Like, Look at her ass. It's so big. I, I have the same. The... Same with me as well. Yeah. <laughs> Here what are we gonna, he that's comes. why we're dieting now. Yes, that's why. <laughs> no that's more why sugar. we've made changes. I know. It's the mystery cake. This section of the fika of the the whole dream guest I meet the dream guest is we have a mystery cake, right? Um, and it's underneath there. Even I don't know. They could have surprised me. It might be Mick Jagger's tongue or something like that. And um, so. <laughs> um, here we go. It is. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it looks a bit weird. It looks like a glazed dog turd to me, doesn't it? <laughs> just, I'm, I'm sorry. It looks, it looks too beautiful to eat. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's a saffron bun with an exciting history where traditional Swedish folklore and newer Christian beliefs come together. Official Lusa Cat Day falls on the darkest night of the year on the winter solstice, December the 13th according to the old Julian calendar. So that's um, the... Lucia. Lucia, mm-hmm. yes. Uh, Lucia, meaning light, is celebrated on the same date. It's easy to see the connection with Lucia and Lucia as a prayer for more light. But what about the cat? <laughs> oh, sorry, there's an answer to this. Sorry, I thought we oh, had okay. to... Yeah. I thought we had to find out what the cat meant, but many sources write that Lusser Cat originated from Germany in the 1600s. According to old sayings, we should watch out for Lusser, a.k.a. Lucifer, who takes the form of a cat. The sly bastard. Beating nasty children while baby Jesus. What? Who wrote this? (laughs) This is like some weird American evangelist stuff. Nasty children, well, baby Jesus will give well-behaving children buns. Sound familiar? Wowzy. I think we'll be Googling this afterwards. Um, There's a similar folklore also in Sweden that encourage people to be done with their Christmas preparation by Lusse Natta, Lusse Inatta, or else. One should stay vigilant during the night, avoid the outdoors, especially if you're a poorly behaving child. I don't know if I can eat this after all this. Otherwise, Lucy, a type of demonic witch, often depicted as female. Dun, dun, dun. (laughs) Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Would come riding in the air with her entourage, coming down the chimney and abducting you from your family. Enjoy your Lucy cat there. Okay. Enjoy it, Kayo. It's for you. (laughs) Um, I'll try. Okay. I'll try. And this this is my first kind of hit of, of sugar for not for as long as you same here okay cheers but, mm, that is I'm not really a saffron fan but that is really really nice a fresh a, f- a, f- a fresh lusser cat yeah you know the ones oh I saw you know with the little raisins in there mm-hmm. I see them with the plastic and underneath there's flies all over them and they land yeah, and they're I st- hard. I st- yeah. I still buy them for the kids. I'm like, here, take them from the devil, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I must say, you're a very, very nice person, very easy to chat to. Thank and, you. Know, you. And, and we, I'm not saying that because it's been recorded, but you you said that sounded awful, didn't it, at the end? <laughs> but I, um, 
No, I meant it. I meant it. But like you, you said, you're you're coming up to sixty. Is that what kind of fika are you going to have for that? Are you going to have a because I'm sh- you got to have some sugar then. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, thankfulness comes in. I'm happy to to turn sixty yeah. and be healthy. When's your birth date? So I remember in it? April. April. April the seventeenth. Seventeenth. I really, I don't know why, but I'm March the twenty eighth, and I thought you were going to say. Yeah, it's March the 20th. And I thought it was just going to be, ah, <laughs> scrambled eggs. I really thought it was going to happen, but um, I couldn't bring your date back uh, to my date. Sorry. Um, what, would, what would be your advice then? It sounds like you're, <laughs> you're an elderly person. But I am. But like, cool. What, yeah, what would, you, what would you say in life? Like, have more fika. Yeah. Enjoy, follow, follow your dreams. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I mean, don't be so afraid or like take a chance. Yeah. Take a chance, take a chance, take a, take a chance. Chance on me. Yeah. That, I mean, if you can adapt with, and with all the social media and all the stuff that we have available to us today, try to be a little more brave, yeah. curious, take a chance and do lots of feet, guess. Yeah. Maybe, you know, and also I'm, that's one of the things I'm going to try to do, have a fika with an elder person because we have a lot of old people. Yes. Yeah. And there are some organizations that, that you can join. That is something that I would love to do. Yeah. You know, share yeah. the, you know, get some of their wisdom of, of what they their lives have been, you know, so fika is good. More fika. And and is there is there anything you've got planned? Is anything coming up? You're you're now into acting. Yeah. Well, no, I'd just say that you've been doing that for a long time. You're well, in not films, that much, but uh, theater. Yeah, for the past eight years. But prior to that, it was mostly music. Also, I'm planning to celebrate my 60th by doing my own show. Yeah. Uh, you know, collecting all the music and my experiences and. And putting together a little show and maybe see if I can sell it and see if anybody wants to go <laughs> see my show. I'll be there. Know. I'll be there. So uh, I have a friend. She's a director. So we're kind of mm-hmm. like sitting and writing and reminiscing. And that's how I came up with like, who, what kind of famous people have I actually met? Yeah, yeah. So I think people would love that because it's a real insight, you know, into – who you are and what you want to tell. But yeah, I think that would be really interesting to see where Mm. your music came from, who inspired you. And then it's like you could then just break out into a song and yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. That that's exactly what I'm aiming for. And my young daughter who moved to New York, she, I was like, so what's the new thing? What, what are people craving nowadays? And we were talking about music, but also like entertainment. She's, she said, which I think is wonderful, that I think people are needing and wanting more authenticity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they can hear it now. You can detect it because there's so much flakiness going yes, on, yes. which we like too. Yeah. So people are coming together and like they can detect that. Nah, she's not meaning what she's saying yeah, or great. what she's saying yes. or what she's standing up about. Or uh, So I'm loving that, that I think that we people, we human beings need to be real and having the the courage to be real. So, cool. What a great way to end. Woo! That is that is for reals the real at you the know? end. And I might even put that on an Instagram reel. Yeah. That was um that was amazing. Thank you so much, Kayo. This has Thank been you. this has been fun. This is the first time we've met. Yeah. It won't be the last time. I'm going to come to that show. Yeah. Um. Thank so you. Uh, as long as you give me a free ticket, I will be there. I <laughs> know. Uh, I, I I will pay to. No, to watch you don't that. have to. I will pay. You brought the eggs, no. so it's okay. <laughs> I'll throw them, and you can. Uh, no, I won't do that. Uh, thank you so much for being my dream guest. Thank you, Kayo. For more information on me please go to my website, alpitcher.com. This podcast was produced by Soulside Productions and recorded at Clarion Hotel Sign in Stockholm.